I'm Jess, I'm 23 and I'm a filmmaker and an illustrator. So for Stories After Dark I chose uh, several different um, archival photos of Hobart and Tasmania and one of them was from Port Arthur etc and I used my character Tornado Head as like uh, and I drew my character Tornado Head like interacting with the photos. I thought my character Tornado Head would be really cool to use because he's very edgy and so is Mona, it's quite edgy. And I was like, how can I inter interweave these two things together for the exhibit? So I took like Tasmanian photos and my character and had them interact with each other. Um, and that's like the historical element from the archives that I used. So for each picture, I would find a picture and then I would think, hmm, how could I have Tornado Head interact with this? So I had him like flying a kite um, in someone's lap, which was quite funny, and just doing things that you wouldn't expect to see in an old photo, because old photos, there's this like serious nature to history, and I was trying to make it more like jovial. <laughs> On the day of the installation, it was really windy, and I was also very tired <laughs> and um, I showed up and I was like, I haven't done an exhibit outside before, especially with so many different screens. And it was very like run and gun, what are we doing? Oh, we'll move over here. Um, we'll put that screen there and just making it up as you go. But I think it turned out really cool. Um, well, because I'm a filmmaker, usually I'm developing things and then if you put something online, you don't get to see the audience reacting to it live. So um, witnessing like kids interacting with the, with the artwork on the night was really cool and they get excited about it and I was kind of standing there almost like a ghost, like looking over, I'm like, oh, they don't know that that's my art and they were getting really excited about it. I was like, oh, my heart, I feel so like full now. <laughs> um, well, we're trying to make a Tornado Head series um, using the same character and his life in a kind of Lynchian landscape that is Hobart, but a little bit weirder. Um, so hopefully we'll be seeing more of Tornado Head. It was really exciting to be f part of Dark Mofo because it's such a huge event. I'm like, oh, the prestige of Dark Mofo. And then I never got to go into the art library archives before, so that was really like intriguing how low the ceilings are and there's these huge files, like being inside a massive filing cabinet, like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, but <laughs> in real life um, and there's so much weight that they have to reinforce the library like um, floors and the ceiling so that it doesn't crumble um, which was really interesting and just seeing all the old things like old board games and stuff was like oh intriguing.